So I'm on my way right now to my appointment to get my um, fitting for my braces. My mom's right here. Um, so basically this time, um, that's my went. There was for an evaluation. So this time they're going to actually cast me and everything so that they can actually get the right fitting for my, um, my legs. And then um, they should be ready after that within the next week and a half. But I'm going to ask them just to double check. So I'll see you guys when we get there. Okay, so we made it a little too early to my appointment, so we're getting something to eat because the office was closed for lunch, so we're getting something to eat right now. Ma. So, yeah, we're gonna get some wings. So they do have buffalo wings in here. Yeah. Two out of one. Yeah. That's a good combination. I didn't know that. I thought it was just fat burger and that's it. No. So. It has two things. That's all. Yeah, so we got some wings and then we're gonna go to my appointment after that. So, yeah, see you guys when we get to my appointment. Hey guys, so I made it to my appointment. I just picked up my hair when I was eating because it was wings and yeah, long hair problems. <laughs> so, anyways, she's about to start casting me, so um, I'll show you guys a little bit of that um, as soon as she starts. I should have made a special table for you. <laughs> what are you doing that for? Tracing her feet so when I make the full plate. It's just so she can get the bottom of the brace. Mm -hmm. well, we'll have the cast, but then sometimes the cast doesn't come all the way. So. So they're just measuring exactly the way your feet yeah. should go. Mm -hmm. okay. Okay. And then the cast will actually be my whole leg. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and then that's the one that's broken. Mm -hmm. Usually where this is the where you know, all the polio or spina bifida patient they have an issue right here because they have too much pressure right here mm -hmm. oh, it gets broken mm -hmm. And then the socket's just a barrier between the casting and my leg. Mm -hmm. Oh, got it. Okay. Got it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for watching, guys. Thank you. Thank you for watching, guys. Thank you. 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 Thank you
So this is the casting that they're gonna use. Um, it's cast tape, but it's basically the same stuff that they use to like cast an arm or a leg. It's just basically the same thing. <laughs> the only difference is that this is fiberglass, and it says right here fiberglass white. So um, they can make the bracelet to any color that they have available, but I usually just get them white because it matches with everything. But um, the first one is always white. What are you marking right now? The kneecap right here mm -hmm. and then the tendon. So this is where all the mm -hmm. bolts were going to go for the brace? Right. So to make sure the bony area, we have to relieve the area. And then press where we have to press. Mm -hmm. And then you want to force your open into it, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Huh? I'm gonna stop. No. So right now what she did was <coughs> measurements on my leg to go around it so that she can actually get the right fit around my leg so it's not too tight and not too loose. And what was that one? The one was I made we the we the
Cool, you get a razor. <clears throat> She's using the razor to cut it. Cause remember how when I was a kid, they used to have that drill to cut it. Mm -hmm. She uses the razor. Mm -hmm. Back like in those days, we had to use a plaster for everything. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So we had to use the cast cutter. But now this you use different materials and you can cut it. Mm -hmm. So these are possibly made of plaster? Because the design got them in 2010. Mm -hmm. It depends. Some cases, some practitioners, they like using a still plaster, but a lot of practitioners they use fiberglass. Fiberglass. Mm -hmm. It's easier, cleaner too. So that's what this yellow thing is for. It has like a little indention so she won't cut my leg. Mm -hmm. So I can channel. channel it out. I can use a blade. And that's basically what it looks like afterwards. all over again for the next one hey guys i'm home now um hopefully you guys learned a little bit about how the braces are made um so i should be getting them within the next two or three weeks but i'm gonna call in about two uh just to see if it's already done but uh basically these braces i've had them since 2010 and usually patients they recommend that you change them every three years but since I went so long without any health coverage whatsoever, I couldn't. So I've had these for the longest. Um, but now that they're cracked, <laughs> I, I need new ones. So, yeah. Anyways, that's all I have for you guys today. Um, I will see you guys in my next video. And as always, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like this video. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.